Uh, let's see. It may bounce. I'm just using a purple rock because it's one that I already had painted and available. Basically, I need first. Oh crap, I've already moved it. Sorry. A rock area where your mermaid will sit. And then, of course, a slot for her butt. That was the paint making that sound, not me. <laughs> so you just bring it down however you want there. is we're going to have to paint while this stuff is messy wet. We'll see what happens because usually I wait in between uh, stuff I paint. I'll paint, I could paint like, you know, three rocks like this. So. Watch that off. Basically, this is a great excitement of it. Mermaid. See how silly I sound on this video? Never mind that I have a cold. You just need the little waistline, and then her butt goes down, and it's mixing with my black because I did not let it. Uh, oops, I got paint on my finger. I did not let it dry, so like I said, I'd usually let that uh, rock part dry. <clears throat> and this one, her leg just comes out. So once I've made that, I can put her leg out. angle of mermaid I was looking for. I'll have to find a different one. On the tail, it's just how you swing it out. Like, imagine, a, you know, an actual fish's tail. Not so, not so crazy curved, but at least it has like a tail part of it. And there is no wrong on this. You know, whatever happens, happens. Like this blacky blob that I'm getting. I just add to, to the green on this later. Um, I might have picked a short rock, or I should have painted the other way. Ugh, that could be a problem. Okay, so here's my body colors. This kind of brown mixed in with the white. I squeeze it out on my disc like this. It's just how I mix stuff. You can mix it on a thing like this. So you just make a waistline. See? Take a little bit of that white just to. size of the brush and again the green would be dry so it wouldn't be blending like this on this particular one the shoulder sits right here see and then it just kind of goes off and onto her leg you just put a little hand I need a different brush. This is too thick. <clears throat> so basically have a bunch of different size ew, brushes because painting with the same one's not gonna do you good. The 
hand, I usually just go up and down. And then you can just add more. It's just kind of sitting on the on the knee of this chick. <laughs> and shoulder. She turned a little bit brownie. Too white. It's just playing with the color, whatever color you want. Now for the hair, I think we'll go. What should we do? Red hair. Um, yeah, I like red. I gotta put my pee back in. <clears throat> so here's the funny thing. Okay, there's her butt, go straight up, that would be her neck, go right here, I hope this can be seen, uh, butt, straight up her back, go right here, just kind of start making a circle, and then just let it go however the way you want it, like her hair is going to go this way for me, oh shoot, I should have made that the other way. See? You're never gonna mess it up as long as you just kinda make her head round. And you just start swinging the hair. I like to wave it. See? Blob it on your Blop it on the middle of her head and then you can just drag it wherever you want. And then even if you think it looks kind of kooky, just round it out here. Anything that you messed up on the arms, <laughs> you can just cover that sucker up. And then... So that was on that size of a brush. Then I take, where's my brush? I need some new brushes though. And I need one of these again because it's dying. I need to find a place. Dude, where's it at? I have the skinniest of brushes. See that little tiny thing? I like to take Just random waves, little tiny ones, and then I like to cross it over. Whoops. And then you can throw in orange because they don't really have like red, red hair. Start it up from the top. Anything that blobs, just grab it. The key is once you've painted the, the bigger stuff is to get a little brush so you can do skinnier waves on the hair. Gosh, I hope I'm not taking that out of camera. Okay, so I just like to blend that in up there a little bit more natural. See, throw some in here. You don't have to look at the picture that you're you're copying and make it exact because that's when you screw it up. I'm so busy trying to make it exact. I like to take gold. <clears throat> Again, I would have done it on the stuff where it's already dry, but since we're doing a quick video, I just throw it in wherever I feel like. Keep adding. See? Throw it up there.
you can see as I run out, when I'm squiggling in, I just add more to the brush. And this just adds a little bit of diva in her hair. And there's that. Let me see if I'm going to be able to do this. Um, oh yeah, it looks like it's dry. I take, say, silver. Take some silver. And I just make the little curvies on her tail. It just adds a little more. contrast curves 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 do, 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 do. have some on that tail just for the heck of it not a bunch just bits and pieces here and there but then after that I would outline it in in black with this or if I feel like doing it but see easy quick mermaid all done